Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about my weird werewolf build. I actually play it as a bow build just for fun, using a nightblade, so I figured I would go over it. It's pretty good. Um, I was able to solo veteran Maelstrom Arena with it. Uh, it does <laughs> it does struggle a little bit in uh, on the very last boss of Viteshran Hollows, a veteran Viteshran Hollows that is, but... Nevertheless, this can clear quite a bit of solo content. Um, so just to kind of go over it, acid spray, uh, lethal arrow, all this stuff, typical typical stuff you'd see, afflicts minor defile, reduces their healing recovery, does damage. Uh, leeching strikes, this just helps me do more whenever I'm outside of my werewolf form. Again, uh, another one increases my weapon and spell damage when I'm outside of werewolf form. Killer's blade. Uh, it's pretty good as like uh, as an execute. Obviously, werewolf form. I go werewolf berserker, uh, just because it does more damage. Endless hail, poison injection, uh, shadow image. Just this does a little. This gives me a little bit of dr extra damage. Mirage gives me more resistances, more you know damage mitigation and vigor for healing. Just for whenever I'm out. Now, that's not right. What? That's not. There we go. That's right. All right, and then you know, obviously, werewolf form is what I use on both bars. You don't have to use it on both bars, but I do. Okay, so werewolf. Obviously, we're taking everything here. Um, you don't have to take blood moon, but I like to give away free werewolf bites. So, yeah. Then we got uh, brutal pounce. So it's really important that when you use this, uh, you get all you get to max stacks because. Every, for every person you hit, it gives you a stack and it increases your weapon and spell damage by 100 for each enemy hit up to 6 stacks. So you get 600 more damage. So, And uh, it causes enemies to do an AoE bleed, so really strong. Hercene's Rage, so this is going to heal you. And then if you're at full health, it's going to restore 3,000 stamina, and you're going to gain Major Berserk, increasing your damage done by 10%. Now, this is pretty good because you don't normally have access to this, right? I think this was a recent change, actually. And then, while slotted, you gain Major Brutality, increasing your weapon and spell damage by 20%. So, pretty awesome. Uh, Deafening Roar. Uh, this one's cool because it sets them off balance. So, you know, things being off balance could potentially make them take more damage. Uh, it also gives Major Breach and Minor Maim, reducing their physical and spell resistances, and damage done by 5%, so makes you do more damage, and reduces how much damage they do to you. Uh, crush an enemy. Enemies who are feared take 25% more damage from this attack, so if you use Deafening Roar into, like, Hall of Agony, it's, it's alright. And then Claws of Life, this is going to give you a ton of sustain. You're healed for 68% of the damage, but this is a swipe. It's going to put a dot on everything, and it's going to uh, make you a real, real tanky boy. Uh, so armor. So armor I'm using medium, but I'm also using, I have the medium and heavy armor stuff in here. So I'm using Troll King's guys as my monster set. You can also not use this and use a Ring of the Pale Order if you have it. Then I'm going to be, then I use the Alessian set. The reason why I use the Alessian set is because your health recovery gets increased by quite a bit depending on how much physical and spell resistance you have. And whenever you switch into werewolf form, you gain like 10,000 physical spell resistance. So this just, this is just wild. Uh, Briar Heart Band, pretty standard. Um, when you deal critical damage, increase your weapon and spell damage by 429. Uh, and it just gives you a little bit of extra damage on top of uh, some, some healing. Then we got the Maelstrom's Perfected Bow. This is more of a, when I'm outside of werewolf form obviously, but it just makes my, just makes my ball you do more damage. Uh, precise enchantment on this. You want divines and all your Alessian stuff if you can, and divines on this stuff as well. Um, let's see here. I like to use the lover boon, and then for this, I like to use deadly aim, master at arms, untamed aggression, boundless vitality, bastion, bloody renewal. This uh, fortified. Uh, fortified is really good to max out because it helps with more health recovery. Uh, Steed's Blessing, Rationer. Now obviously there's not a crazy amount of good things here. Here's the path I took. Boom, 
boom, going into liquid efficiency next. Okay. Then we got starving death, precision, extended might, deadly aim, boom. Then we have untamed aggression here. Down here. We got tumbling, survivor into mystic tenacity, 10 into hero's vigor, shield master, bastion. This helps against shielded enemies. This gives you more stamina regen, uh, more armor, and then more health. Okay, so that's going to be it for that. Uh, for food, um, you can use the lava foot soup and salt trees. It's something I like. You can also use bewitched sugar skulls. I think bewitched sugar skulls might be. I want to say this is probably the best, but um, the lava foot soup and salt trees is also pretty good. It gives you max stamina and increases your stamina recovery. I personally kind of like the Witch Sugar Skulls because it gives you max health, max stamina, and magic, and it gives you more health recovery. So it keeps, it helps with stacking uh, the health recovery. Um, I don't think I have any on me, but oh yeah, I do. Uh, the Artam Takeaway Broth is actually really good as well. Increases max health, health recovery, max stamina, but in order to get this, you're going to have to go do a bunch of fishing. Uh, this one's, or you could just go buy it, but it's really not too bad to, to make on your own with the exception of needing perfect row but if you have a crafter you can uh, you can make quite quite a bit of this stuff so that is that um, so that's the build that is the food that was the champion points and now I will go hop on into let's go find a nice oh, little boss to kill here all right, so now that we're in a dungeon, let's uh. So you just want to keep your stacks up. What the heck? Okay, they keep resetting. I don't know what's going on there. Very odd, but that's okay. Boom. As you can see, pretty. You really don't take damage. It doesn't seem like with this. Your survivability is super duper high. Yeah, so this is the Rimen Necropolis. Here. Try to get up as much as we can. Where is this thing? I'm just gonna run past everything. Okay. Huh, guess the boss is dead. That's fine. I'll just kill everything else. But as you can see, I mean, it, you can pretty much just pull the whole entire dungeon and it just doesn't really matter that much. So, your survivability is just off the chain, you know? I did do the, I did use this build to do veteran, uh, Maelstrom Arena, so. It's not the, it doesn't have, so when you do the veteran Maelstrom Arenas and stuff though, it doesn't have like the, the damage can feel kind of low, but the survivability is definitely there. And as long as you do the mechanics, you can definitely do it. So yeah, but um, that's uh, yeah. But this is kind of the this is kind of the build here. Just use Alessi and stuff, turn into a werewolf, and uh, kill people. And then whenever you're not in werewolf form, just uh, use your bow here. I will do this just to show you guys the bow aspect of it. And as you can see, I'm still not really having any trouble surviving. My health recovery is just way too high. That. Get all my 
extra survivability stuff going. I mean, I think I could really just spam. Spam this. My damage isn't as high when I'm in the bow form, but, nah, not bad. But since my survivability is so high, you can kind of just kite everything into oblivion. But, there you go. Uh, if you're looking for a fun, kind of a for fun build that can do quite a bit in the solo content area, uh, I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. Alright, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.